Good morning, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Pekka Fire, and welcome back to Sam and Max Save the World. Now, if you got been remembering a live video, we ended episode two, and that would be we fought against a dark, uh, a dark show host. There we go, a dark show host. But you see, we're also being Michael Joe and Betty. I think we might figure out who have Michael Jordan, huh, maybe? Cause if I remember this, this is about the Mafia, the Bear Mafia. Not, I heard a bear, but people who got bear heads. Yeah, so I guess we're gonna go ahead and figure out, are they really benign all of this? Well, I'm gonna just say no, girl. We got six, we got six episodes, so... Yeah, I'm gonna say no, they not been on all of it, but maybe some of it. So, anywho, let's jump right into it. Woohoo, and, and like always, we always get a night intro to it. See, this doesn't feel like a TV show. Most because these things keep calling episodes, but whatever. Uh, sorry, I did. I, I like it some. Oh. Okay, then. God, we find something right into there. Hiya, Sam. Good news, Max. I think I just gave birth to a bouncing baby hernia. Hiya! <laughs> <laughs> I got it, Oh, bad timing. Oh, I only... Uh, <laughs> Hello. I only yes, thought he was that kind of... Cap wearing cat the, the, the crime walk, beat. walk away. Did he get the notes I sent him? Yes, but he said to stop carving them into the suspects. He can't read them without his bifocals. What if I just write bigger? Forget that, Max. We're after the most infamous organized crime outfit in the city, the Toy Mafia. The cutthroat killers with no respect for human life, but an odd predilection for delightful children's toys? The same. I love those guys! The commissioner has reason to believe that the Toy Mafia's secret headquarters are located in the one place no one would ever suspect. Teddy Bear's Mafia-Free Playland and Casino. The sallowest place on Earth? Oh, boy! Well, it's not going to be all laughs and dyspepsia, little chum. It's a rescue op. The commissioner sent an undercover mole to investigate, but he hasn't reported in weeks. Our job is to make contact with the mole and see if he needs help. Is he a large, star-shaped mole, or more of a beauty mark? No idea, Max. To find him, we're supposed to give the code phrase, Does the carpet match the drapes? And what'll he say? He'll say, Well, I never. Then smack me across the face. Sounds great! Let's do this! Why did I gotta pick a more painful one? Why did he gotta smack me? Okay, not to say a word. Okay, let's see here. Let's see what in our closet. Oh, our collection is becoming pretty big now. This chart pile of scrap serves as a touching reminder of the fun we had at WARP TV. I've determined that whether for food or for sport, I just really enjoy frying things. But technically, it me did it really fry? I guess so with some water. Wait, did that mean Myra okay? I do a bit concerned about her. Jimmy Two Teeth, Fence. It's a sad day when hardworking rodents have to make their living as a freestanding form of enclosure. Uh, I think that's Fence in the buys and sells stolen goods sense of the word. Feed it, you're getting in way of my customers. What customers? What customers? Okay, uh, guys, I'm not the only one to think that. Hey, an ace. An extra card up your sleeve and never hurts. Yeah, you can just the know that can be very important. Every inch of your body with high caliber bullets and then dump your mutilated corpse in an empty field. Yeah, except that. Wait, what? I was talking to half of it. I couldn't see more of it. What? Okay. Twenty years worth of electric bills take up a surprising amount of space. Gee, that is not an electric bill. Twenty years worth of electric bills take up a surprising amount of space. Yeah, that's a lot of electric bills. A very disturbed individual sits here. 
I didn't know that that's your partner. Do you say anything about your test? No, okay. So it's all on a TV. Look, Max, Midtown Cowboys. Oh! Reruns. Better get the serious toothpaste! Turn it off! I hate the sound of my voice on tape. It doesn't sound like me. I get that sometimes. Wait, did that be. Did we take a pay for that? How much money are we making? Is it every time on TV? Don't we get paid for that? No, oh, that's a no. I'm, I'm the good at that. He's still clinging to life by the skin of his leaf. Do so we have more money to buy a bed? Hi, Sam. This is yourself. Don't forget to listen to the answering machine messages and give Max a smack from me. Hmm. A snack. Hi, Sam. This is yourself again. Don't forget to erase the answering machine messages before you listen to them. And give Max his own battle tank from me. You don't have it in your budget. Hi, Sam. This is yourself. Don't forget to listen to the answering machine messages and give Max a smack from me. Okay then. Did you say anything about me? Good old Mr. Spatula. The exact same Mr. Spatula we've always had. Certainly not just some other fish we've been calling Mr. Spatula ever since we found the original floating belly up in this very water cooler just last week. Uh. Careful, Sam. Keep it up and he might realize he's just a replacement fish. <laughs> well, okay. We're going to get a replacement fish. He's still clinging to life by the skin of his leaf. That thing. Uh, let me take that. No, I meant to take the calendar. 2002 was a great year for calendars. I'm glad we stocked up. We've been going through them at a rate of about one a year since then. <laughs> Good. Uh, how do you feel, calendar? Really are. One of these days, we're gonna finish that game. I'm still working on getting the rest of the darts from the police impound. Why is a dart in a police impound? Mm, now I'm good about that one. When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. Where else would we keep the pieces of paper that we're never going to look at again? Okay, I built it out everything without that lava lamp. Someone once told me that the contents of a lava lamp make an excellent hand cream. That was me. Which is why I haven't tried it. Ah, good. Okay, I get that everything. Oh, I didn't want you got the donut box. The donut box is a happy reminder of a bygone era, specifically last July. And I do get reminded to buy more donuts. Okay, like always, we do always talk to Baco first. Got Peter, he got some kind of crazy offensive car who know how much money. That would be a little, it's a five dollars. And we do need to do something great to get that five dollars. Is that like, is that like Sam and Matt have wallets? Hey, Bosco. Nice Ma flapjack. Maybe Max, but... Who is this, we Bosco? did have no idea where his pocket hey is. Guys, it's me, Bosco. No. But you may call me Jean-Francois Bandepart. The new way French anarchist. So, Bosco, why'd you get Frenchified? They saw right through my British disguise. I don't know how they did it, but they found me. Who? The Mafia. The Toy Mafia. They've got it in for me. Take Why? a number, guys. Now, I do. Only thing you did to push a play, and boom, I am French now. I'm never gonna die to do that acting. I will be fairly insulted. I mean, people will be insulted about me dying to do it. I cannot do the French acting. But I'm not saying that this is the old one you got your fake mustache. <laughs> okay, now. Can I do like a friend must die on Baco? I feel like that'd be appropriate. No? Okay. But he changed the shirt. What manner of nightmarish atrocities has the Toy Mafia committed against you? Nothing. Yet. Ah, but I know what they are planning. And it is terrible! Are they planning to tie you down, tape your eyelids open, and turn on the 24-hour Midtown Cowboys channel? <laughs> well, not that bad. <laughs> I have reason to believe they are planning to deliver something to my store. Wait a minute, we only made one episode, though. Is a marathon that's that one episode over and over and over and over again? Gee, that is dope, conspiracy? What could a band of ruthless toy mongers possibly want to put in here? I don't know. Uh, but it is no matter. They will never be able to deliver anything to my store. 
Well, my name is not Jean-Francois Bendepard. But your name's not Jean-Francois... Shh! They don't know that. I bet you do they do. What's keeping the Toy Mafia from making a delivery? Well, for one, I am watching always. They will never sneak past me. Yeah, just like Wizzer couldn't sneak past you. And two, even if they do get past me, I got a failsafe. It's the greatest invention the world has seen since b -tans. I call it the Bosco Tech Anti-Delivery System. What's the acronym for that? Uh, also b -tans. It is a b tad part D. Yes, and they can all be gold, but what happened with your vote to kill your system? Your vote will work pretty well. Oh, wait, no, my bad. It would give uh, people for stealing things or any weapons, but they could put stuff in or out of it. Why, right, right? That's what the problem with it. How does B Tad's part do work? First, is the enter delivery that? camera. It keeps a massive photo recognition database of every inconvenient item I store. How completely impractical! If anything is placed in the stores that the anti-delivery camera does not recognize, it is put out on the streets. Vive la France! Joe... We want to buy something. Oui, oui, monsieur. What you got? What do you got? Oh la la! Behind the counter, I have the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. Ooh. A device. Non Pirello chocolate! Is that good? Oui, oui. This I call a miniature listening device. It can fit in any cravat, under any chapeau. What's it do? It listens. You can use it to hear secret conversations, no? No. I mean, yes. But I could do that with my phone. I could do it with my iPhone right now. The book will go on. I could do that with my... Is it going to be like a mic? Is it going to be like a tape recorder? There. Here we go. My opinion. No, 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 what the most stupid thing is so simple he could do? Mmm, let's see, a camera with, oh no, 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 no. I know, no, I know, I got it, a camera with a skate and rope, because you could throw it around in, and see recording, and you could uh, get it out. No, not simple enough, not stupid enough. I don't know there. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, Bosco, we'll take that, that miniature listening device. Stupid thing I could think of. Price is ten million dollar. Ten million? Wait, is that ten million in crazy fake French dollars or ten million in regular dollars? Regular dollar. The market is bearish on crazy freak French dollar. Wait, how much money is, would that be in French dollars? Wait, do how much money would that be in French dollars turn to American dollars? That if I take my U.S. money, like how much is that ten million dollars? And if I go to French, how much money would I have? Would it be like the same amount, more, less? I, I don't know. Give us that miniature listening device. Ten million, s'il vous plaît. We'll be back if and when we have an unexpected windfall. Okay. Do you have any stray tufts of Sasquatch hair? No. Okay. Do you have any hats in the shape of a cow udder? No. I'm not gonna do this, okay? Nothing, nothing for us, right? I know <laughs> you're gonna act a bunch of crazy things. You're gonna say no, 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 no. I, I heard a joke. I'm not. I'm not doing it again. How does B-Tat's part do work again? If anything is placed in the stores that the anti-delivery camera does not recognize, it is put out on the streets. Okay. Does the carpet match the drapes? No. And you know why? Because the man does not want them to. He is threatened by their potential unification. Mm-hmm. Okay. Look outside. It's the Toy Mafia. What? Where? Food. There is no one. <laughs> Sorry, Bosco. Just yanking your chain, amigo. You know, Sacre you know, man. every episode I got to mess with and him. I intend to. Even if it's just a little bit, I'm out of here, Bosco. Bosco. Again, thank I you. I know not this Bosco of whom you speak. But if I see him, I shall beat him a reservoir. Like I, said, I don't know why don't he never go simple. Hey, 
baseball cap and sunglasses. No one gonna recognize you. I'm telling him that right now. Baseball cap and sunglasses. You be my be infallible. Like, come on now. Everyone knows that's a guy. Say, Max. I am not getting in that thing again. <laughs> it took me weeks to get the fishy smell out of my fur. What? That's a good point. I bet Max do gotta take extra care of his fur because it fur. The anti-delivery camera. Dude, that would be like, that would be so annoying, dude. This mother, this mother, I don't got worry about fur, cause that would be annoying. And then you gotta do, you do, like, do you do shampoo all over yourself without the piece of soap? Oh, then don't forget that time, keep that thing white. It's like, oh, no, thank you. That is a weird guy. I'm not a rapper. I had no idea there was such fierce competition among alien love polygon tabloids. Yeah. Myra Stump shocks crowd with new hairstyle. <laughs> wow, talk about a slow day for news. I don't talk about the news, Sam. I make it. Yeah, I believe that, huh? Remember our old car, Max? I said I was sorry. They have an old car? Shoot, I can't get it. What happened to that? Well, Max drove it up. That explained everything. See, the only thing I'm gonna learn about is don't let Mac drive. No matter what, that don't let him drive. It would be very bad. Oh, oh, too silver. Where are you now today? Are you a lawyer or are you a judge? I, I can't tell. Okay, what are you this time? Hello, Sam. Hello, Max. Hey, it's our favorite short attention span careerist. This time, I found the job for me. I've become a professional trial witness. Can you be a professional trial witness? Uh, okay. Don't that to be random? Why? Right? I don't think you really... How do you be a professional, man? I, like, do they be... I don't know. I, what exactly is a question. professional trial witness? Oh, it's great! We give dramatic testimonies, sequester in ritzy hotels, and order room service in the name of truth and justice. It almost sounds like you're enriching yourself at the expense of this country's overcomplicated legal system. Do you have a yes. problem with that, Mr. Freelance Police? Do they? Yeah, why didn't we think of it? Again, I just don't even know what Freelance Police means. I mean, are they cops? Can they officially arrest people? I do have not seen them arrest anybody, but we hear they were arresting people. What led you to decide to become a professional witness? Publishing that the Alien Love like... Triangle Times taught me a lot about the truth, you know? The truth is far out there? Exactly. And then one day I got called for jury duty, and the rest is history. But nobody likes jury duty. What's your next career gonna be? Oh, there is no next career. I'm sticking with trial witnessing for good. <laughs> oh yeah, you mean that like that dark dude? I forgot all her other job. Let's see, one of them was a dark dude. I mean, we didn't even get to see or pay. Oh, the therapist. And. Dude, what was he in episode 2 again? A. Oh, that, yeah, a journalist. About aliens. Yeah, there we go. Am I in many, many no, more seriously. stops? Any ideas about your next cockamamie profession? I resent that. Let's see, what have she not been? Haven't been a restaurant owner, so that could be one. Do you have your first case yet? No, but I'm waiting for a call from the district attorney. He says he's got something I'd be perfect for. You don't feel uncomfortable getting a case first and then being a witness for it? Not at all. You see, the problem with most trials is that crimes are witnessed by someone who's unprepared for what's going to happen, or who doesn't have sufficient training or skills to accurately remember or relate what happened. With my background and widely varied skill set, I'm perfect. That makes sense. Should I be afraid? Probably. But don't you gotta don't you gotta see the crime for you to justify? Can then you just be lying, right? You gotta be there. Any idea what your first case is going to be about? No, but it doesn't really matter. It's a flat fee system. If you say so. Does the carpet match the drapes? Interior decorating was like eight months ago. Oh. I'm a trial witness now. Maybe uh, see what I'll do. A, do a decorator. Okay. Isn't trial witnessing a trifle dangerous? Oh no. We're protected by the truth. 
We'll be back soon. Yeah, soul. good luck with the... Uh, keep one eye on the truth. Uh, we always keep uh, one eye on the truth. Okay. Look, look, she still got some of the things. Been up any titillating scandal mags lately? No. I think those might be iron-ons. Convenient and painful. A surefire hit with the average consumer. My question is, is she good Very at any of these talk? I haven't got a bulletin board. I did say, she always did the job, but is she good Where's at any is? of this stuff? Tomorrow? Vinyl. Hey, if you dip that in ink, you could do 30 tattoos at once. If I could scare up 30 customers at once, I'd still be in the tattoo business. So, did that mean you were terrible? I don't know. <laughs> you don't do anyone live in a house anymore? Same in my thing, I did live in their office, but then again, we have to think their whole building, or maybe like a, maybe like a dark forest where they sleep and stuff. I don't know. Where are we and going, maybe Sam? civil he have a apartment Teddy somewhere. Bears, Mafia free playland and casino. Goody! And Baco Good if the upstairs. I don't know. I think we never seen that nobody house in this series. Ah, here we go. The Mafia. The Joy Mafia. The Joy Mafia does sound like the people who just steal stories. Okay then. Welcome, welcome, generous friends. Days and weeks and tokens to spend. We're just regular businessmen. Just you and me and Teddy Bear. Welcome to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Ah! That face. My name's Lovey Bear. Boy, do we have some fun and games for you. Here, take this token amount of tokens as our way of saying welcome and uh, go spend a lot of money. Thank you. Holy domesticated ursins, Max. Lovey Bear here's got the same head as that hypnotic teddy bear from Myra's talk show. You think that little talk show bear had a litter of giant babies? I don't know, Max. Probably Call not. It canine intuition, but I think our mole discovered something about these teddy bears he shouldn't have. We've got to find him and get to the bottom of this. Uh, I didn't know we that they. You're lucky a this mole. mask doesn't have ear holes, or I might have heard that secret conversation you just had right in front of me. Oh, what? okay. Sorry, I wasn't listening. Uh, I, I was just about to say, huh? Maybe we should talk about a, a mole here in front of the guy, but. Uh, no, but the game beat me to it. Got it, he came. I, you beat me to it somehow. You give tokens to first-time customers? That's right. Go on, enjoy, live a little. It just seems like bad business sense. Okay, tell you what. Thirteen hours from now, when you're trying to pawn your little friend here to pay off the vig, we can talk then about bad business sense. Okay, we'll come back then. <laughs> I hear you have a mole problem. Hey, it's a genetic condition. You should have seen my father's back. Holy cow, I'm actually being too subtle. <laughs> First time that's ever happened. <laughs> Maybe I should just stick to the code phrase. I love it. Does the carpet match the drapes? If Don Ted E. Bear says so, they do. Don Teddy Bear? I thought this place was mafia free. That's right, kiddies. 100% mafia free. No mafia anywheres. Come on, True. Somehow, I just don't believe them. We're looking for somebody who works here. Look, I just greet the guests. You want to know who works here? Talk to Don Ted E. Bear. He's in charge. Where's the Don? He's got, uh, business in the back room. You know what I mean? What kind of business? Yeah, the kind of business that gets said like it's got quote marks around it, so's you know not to ask. Ooh, okay, so we would, uh, leave. Thanks, Lovey Bear. Enjoy, and remember, if you're not losing, we're not winning. Okay, I mean, I don't know what to take from that. Uh, let's see here. You got that? 
Okay, um, he got a back room, you guys. That go in. Hold it, Mugs. Not Mugs, Max. I don't care if yeah, it's I'm Teddy Sam. Ruxpin. No one gets in without a password. Oh, right. That would be what again? Why don't you tell me? Damn it. I thought that would work. That you would work for people. Oh, yeah, the password. And that would be. The password is Swordfish. Nope. Um. Does the carpet match the drapes? I don't know. I set fire to the drapes. I love to watch things burn. Ah. Hey, me too. I'm sorry I asked. Max, I'm not very shocked, but okay. Let then. us in. Only Toy Mafia allowed in. Not that there's any mafia here. Okay, we'd like to sign up for the Toy Mafia, please. Talk to Chuckles. He's the head of Mafia admissions. Where's okay, Chuckles? We talk right with. behind this door. This is what it would be like if Catch-22 had a meaner older brother. Look, I, I don't, don't get that rules. joke. I just blindly enforce them. So, you're telling me I can get in a back room, and then I get the power, but only way for me to get the power, I gotta be working for you guys. But the only person who would let me, I guess, sign up is behind like the door. So I can even keep it out the door, so I said, guys, you get, get a job, you think you let me get a power to get in here, but only for me to get in here, you, oh, la, 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 la. Okay, then, my brain, my brain went melty for a second, but it's back now. The password is Rosebud. I think. Nope. Uh, I think my brain did a bit melty. Toy Mafia only. If you want in, talk to Chuckles. He's right behind this door. Ah! Let us in. Toy Mafia only. If you want in... Okay, fine. We'll be back. Like I care. Hmm, no, yeah, I don't do your old shoot. Uh, here we go. Holyoke, Massachusetts. Try that again, Mug, and we'll fill you with so many holes your little friend will be able to store his straw collection. Could you make them small enough to drain pasta? Because I think I just lost the colander. I'm just gonna put this gun away and make it a point to never do that again. How's that sound? Okay then, I think I learned my lesson here. Oh come on, I like three people with me and Max shooting wildly. I believe we get a uh, one, maybe two of them. So what we pay for not to that I luck with it. It's a rubber ducky ashtray. Leave it to the Toy Mafia to make smoking fun. Do... Here, yeah, Max, do you have any idea to do next? What are we doing here again? Losing all our money and reinforcing impulsive behavior? I mean, apart from that. I don't know. When we walked in here, we were talking about finding a mole with that code phrase, but I'm so simultaneously smitten by the lure of easy lucre and stricken by fear of innate failure, I can't really think straight. Okay. Where should we go from here? I don't know. If all the gaudy lights and chicanery weren't distracting me, I'd say go to where we're least wanted. You mean that back room with the guard and the restricted access? Actually, I meant the kitchen, but your idea is good too. Do you pay me have a kitchen? Heard any good passwords lately? No, but then I probably haven't been listening in the right places. What are we doing here again? Losing all our money? I mean, apart. I don't know. Okay. Let's wallow. I've got a couple of rabbit's feet for luck. Because <laughs> you are a rabbit. You wouldn't see a whole rabbit would be more lucky than it doesn't feet. You know, like, if he feet lucky, should it be his whole body be lucky? I'm just saying. Hello Think there, about it. Head wearing card dealer. Hello, I'm Cuddly Bear. Want to play cards? Um. We'd like to develop a gambling addiction starting now. Well, what do we have here? I'd say the circus was in town, but I know for a fact they won't be here till next Friday, so you must be here to play cards. Depends. Who are we playing? What, that name Steak Charmer. Leonard Steak Charmer. And let's just say I didn't rack up 10 million tokens by getting lucky. <laughs> How'd you million? get them then? By cheating? Look, Rabbit, Leonard Steak Charmer's no cheat. He's just that good. Okay, what's the game, Steak Charmer? Truest test of skill there is. Indian poker. What in poker? How exactly does one play poker of the Indian persuasion? I don't you know play you're normal off to poker. A good start when your opponent doesn't even know how to play. You ever consider that we might be card sharks or shark sharks? You know, the kind that eat people for being overconfident. Whatever. Look, it's simple. We both get dealt a card which we put on our forehead without looking at it. So we can see each other's card, but not our own. 
Pretty sharp, McGruff. Don't call me that. McGruff. And you make a bet if you think he got the higher card, or fold if you want out. That's it? Yep. And we see who's got the highest card, and then I win, like always. Well, when you put it like that, we'd be fools not to play. So, a game based on Upton? Okay. We'd like to try our hand at a hand of Indian poker. You won't regret this, Hound. By which I mean, I won't regret this. Okay, oh, then. Try Let's do this, mister. And I'll shoot you both. That seems fair. I do even want to have guns here. I got 10 million tokens says I got a better card than you. I'm betting it all. Sweet second mortgages on a summer home. We can't match that. Tell you what, Pooch. I'm feeling so confident. I'll give you 10 million to one odds. Just bet one token and you can win the whole pot. Those are mighty good odds. No, they ain't, deputy dog. Because I never lose. <laughs> so, in or out? Sure, we'll bet a token. <laughs> Sorry, Rover. You lose. Stick Chama wins. Gambit. Mama was wrong. Gambling does pay. I'd say better luck next time. But it'll take more than luck to beat me. Yeah, it'd take a but sturdy gave me all to really do the job. Leonard Steak Charmer, huh? You don't look like a Leonard Steak Charmer. Oh yeah? You think there's a snake you look more like charmer? Uh, Boris Crinkle. <laughs> That's what everyone says. <laughs> Boy, Quinko? Okay, that's your new nickname now, but Snake. Wait, your legal name is Snake Tomo? Uh, oh, oh, is your first name is Lena, and your last name is Snake Tomo? Even so, that's a real last name. So, are you a real Indian? Yeah, I'm a wooden Indian. As in, wouldn't bet against me if I was you. I'll kill him! Not yet. Oh, my papa will kill you. How do you get anyone to gamble with you? Frankly, you seem shady. I offer great odds, and I possess a certain subtle charm. I hate to break it to you, but non-existent and subtle are two different things. <laughs> Maybe charm is a euphemism for gum disease. Look, I'm here to play poker. Are we gonna get this dog and bunny show on the road, or what? Dog and bunny show? Uh, now that I think, is, it, is that a proper saying? I think they made dog and gas? No, no. Dude, no, I don't remember that saying. Leonard, you give new meaning to the phrase, a face only a mother could love. My mama said I was beautiful. Uh... Okay. Does the carpet match the drapes? No, it's stained with tobacco juice. Squalid, yet candid. Normally, I like that in a gambler. But for you, we'll make an exception. That's enough for now. Okay. Although I could have sworn you were a dog, not a chicken. A common mistake. Mm -hmm. Wait, I don't have a. Oh, I guess I do still have a token. Ooh, what's this? Teddy Bear's original meatball sandwich. Looks tasty. The original Teddy Bear made this original meatball sandwich with his own two paws in 1957. The microorganisms that give Teddy's modern meatballs their distinctive tang are descended from the colony in this sandwich. That's out 100% uh, disgusting. Mm, get it, I get out with me from this one. Let's give this a shot. <laughs> I'm in pain. Mm, great, These rats are gonna here. pop up, see? If the rat's keeping his mouth shut, you don't touch him. But if that rat's singing, you put a bullet in his head, capish? Have fun. How can we not? Okay, hi. Wait, I got you my gun. The video I did here is uh, 100% unsafe. And I do. That means you can only play the game one time. See, this here harder than it looks. Oh, come on! I will run away! Not that there's any mafia here. Oh, we came up empty. That's okay. It's like Mom used to say. Blowing away rats is its own reward. A wise woman. 
Wait, you talk about your mom or my mom? Oh, are we brothers? <gasps> no, no, it doesn't have again. Sam say they, they, they're not brothers. Okay, let's see. Okay, I got it on point. Okay, 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 pretty good this time. We're doing way better. Gonna miss not, I'm not gonna miss not a single one. Hey, I am doing pretty good actually. Okay, I don't know why the first time it shocked me a foot. Come on! Why would that mother harder? I meant to. I should have become a mafia hitman. Look, there's the prize. As advertised, it's an almost entirely worthless teddy bear refrigerator magnet. I feel dumb. How did he point me? Plate in their skull and redecorate their forehead. Oh, Max, wait, you don't really I have a metal plate right in my skull right now? Yes, I do. Anti Michael helmet. Yeah, I think do Mac can be Michael because. He might do great to be good all. <gasps> I bet you that is a thing. He with Mac Mai do crazy, nobody could control it. Navi Mac. Bandit. Insert token to play. You see that, Sam? It's a little play on the well-known colloquialism for slot machine. The fun just never stops at Teddy Bears. Let's see if I could win something. Big bucks, big money, big bucks, big money. Sweet mother of bleary eyed gambling addiction, we won. Yeah, we won, but there's no prize. You gotta hey. hand it to Teddy Bear. He really puts the bandit in one armed bandit. You Hold cook. It. What's the password? You may enter. Wait, 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 what did he just say? What did he just say? I gonna need that if I don't I That is one shiny nose. Oh almost as shiny as yours. <gasps> Keep it oh, up and you'll get a shiner too. Linda happen see thing, you little dirty dog. He does look at the thing, but okay. Let me fix this then. <laughs> wow, it sticks. Somehow. I'm not even kidding. How did that tick? Back for a little more public humiliation? Just a little more. Let's do this. Alright. Okay, then let's see. Oh, yeah, I've definitely got to have more than four hearts. Four your hearts. I'm betting all ten million, and you only gotta bet one. So, you in or out? Um, I'm in. Sure, we'll bet a token. Eh, sorry, Fido. You lose. The dog wins. What? I you you cheated me. What are you talking about, Leonard? We How pay one hundred percent fair. Pay up, stick charmer. Mama, why weren't you watching over me? I'm ruined. <laughs> oh, let's go, Max. Leonard and his dead mother need some alone time right now. I think I'll be a little yeah, bit bad. Let's go see if we can play whack the rats ten million times in a row without passing out. Ooh, can we do that? Again, if they were an expert, I got assumed that would be like a, a teammate. But now I want to let's know. Let's play again. What if I keep them all? Do I get anything from it? I'm sorry, now nah, I'm good this. Drink it! Oh boy, oh boy. Nice shoot. Yeah, two in one. Looks like they're all out of prices. It's oh. still fun though. Yeah, but the boy, I mean, I could have got some. I got nothing. I feel disappointed now. I bet you were an Xbox, I would have got her a demon. Or even on a beta. Is the game on beta hit five? I think so, yeah, I think so. Now I gotta do give him this money and get me that living in the face. Bonus 
Hi, Paco. Um, do we have the money? Like always. We want to buy something. Oui, oui, monsieur. Okay, stinky pants. Here's your ten million. By this secret stench of St. Gainsbourg. These uh, are not American dollar. No, but there are ten million of them. Hmm. Well, the prize is a teddy bear's can be You make you feel better. I accept. That will go. I give you what? the miniature the device. This is a bug. Does this thing really work? Does this thing really work? That answer your question? Now listen up, maggots. I am a bug. Drop me in enemy territory and I will get all the information you need. You just make sure to pick me up again, and I will repeat every word. Every word! We'll be putting you in some situations uh, that could be a mite precarious. Think you can handle it? I was a non boy! You don't want to know what I've been through. They slaughtered ladybugs. Ladybugs! And that's not all. I've seen them kill. Larvae. Larvae! So yeah, I think I can oh, okay, handle it. Okay, okay, D. Dot but heavy control, Put me not in gonna lie. In your pocket. Move but back. okay, yes, yeah, I'll put you in my infinite pocket of bigness. Okay, well, it bigger on the inside, you didn't know. Now, I did want to know where do my keep hit though? I'm only one to know that. But I have nothing on it. I have nothing. I don't even have no theory. Maybe he manipulates the reality around him and make a bucket I'm missing. That's the only. Yeah, that's the Sam. only thing I got for him. Teddy bears, mafia free Max does casino. have a gun. He yeah, would put a right behind him, but he have a gun so My theory, he could manipulate reality. He got the reality zone up in there. So he does make a bucket I'm missing. DKA literally a baco. Ba baco. Is that baco? I mean, baco is that missing. What the heck is Step baco? Right up, we that, that's not. Is that it? I don't know. Oh, dude, not very bad for that. Are you okay, dude? Okay, okay. I, I think I feel a little bit bad. Better luck okay, next time. if I Second. know the bug, uh huh. Excellent. That me all I got. We I got into talking. What are you doing? I'm mad. Here we go. Play. Big money, big money. Even though I get nothing out of it. Yes, but You're on fire. I could burn you Your off, price. Max. Don't make me do here. it. Yo, you hush with about our one. money that we you have somehow. Okay, bug, what you got? Here we go. Did you get it all? Yeah, I got it. Now listen up. Here's what they said. Hold it. What's the password? That's gotta be what? A hundred times I've come through that door today, and you still don't recognize me? It's the bear heads, boss. They all look alike. Okay, sir. Leave the gun, take the cannolis. So you may enter. Now, Papa, I'm in here that that time. Oh. Sir, yes, sir. Do you think a Papa would like that be okay? The Papa is Papa. Sorry, Max. Aww. Woohoo! Easy beat and it was squeezy. I oh, got the easy peasy. You may enter. Um, gnoly eat these? This is it? Where's the food? Surely there's a buffet back here. Hey, look. That must be Teddy Bear. Where do you wise guys think you're going? Ah. Who, us? We were just browsing. Your name Chuckle? We got you, do, you know, I'm Chuckles, Chuckle. the casino pit boss. I've had my eye on you. Uh, how long have you been watching us? Long enough. 
Do I look any taller than I did Wait, ten minutes ago? Teach. Your win at poker was, shall we say, creative. That one was an easy part. That was nice work. You also somehow got the password to let you into this room. Very clever. I'm impressed. Scruple. Toy Mafia can use guys Wait, do you mean brain? So we definitely out the brain power. Yeah, yeah, that would be pretty hard. We got a. Yeah, maybe we got more brain power than we think we do. <laughs> I can't think of anything I'd rather do. At least not for the next five minutes. But that not. I've I mean, yes. Yeah. Officially, I mean. The fact that you've already got your own animal costume shows great initiative. But before we can accept you into the family, there are two jobs I need you to do for us. Ah. Bad news. The original meatball sandwich has been stolen. There are three jobs mm -hmm. I need you to do for us. Oh. What kind of jobs? Oh, the usual. I want you to lean on somebody. Okay. What do you mean, me? Somebody, I, I, I don't I know. I thought we made that could be. Oh, that maybe that means to, to kill, but you just say whack, and that one is to kill. Who do you want us to lean on? A local shopkeeper who's been refusing to stock our products. Take these special teddy bears and well, make sure he displays he them on the sale table in the front of his store. <laughs> no like, problem. Oh, son of the a The store monkey. is called Bosco's Inconvenience. Um, no problem. Yeah, but who? Who do you want us to whack? God, We're having come trouble on. with a witness who refuses to see things our way. I want you to silence a head? certain civil pandemic. Silence as in gag her? Gag her with a pistol. <laughs> you want us to kill Sybil? you say make it messy. Not a message to other potential witnesses. Make it messy. We if you make it messy, you want that you be a bit sus? Yikes. I, I just saying. I. What is it that you want us to recover? It's that rotting old sandwich, right? The original meatball sandwich has great sentimental value to our organization. I want you to track it down before the disrespectful slime bag who stole it manages to fence it to some other lowlife. Okay, so the side of it, 100% deniability, but for killing civil, we need to let everyone know we did that. But if you do that, won't nobody know you did that, so won't them gotta help to convict you? Or is it. It might just don't know how crime works anymore. Like, would it be more better to blackmail her? I think we've got it. Do these three things, Sam and Max, and you shall be as we are. Verbally overwrought? Members of the Toy Mafia. Oh, right. We want to talk to your boss. Nobody talks to Don Teddy Bear, the head of the Toy Do Mafia. Do you guys have any Doesn't he get food? Lonely? Except other members of the Toy Mafia. Oh, that'd explain it. Does the carpet match the drapes? The drapes? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you about okay, the drapes. Okay, I will confuse you like. Uh, no, that's Wait, okay. what do you mean about drapes? You talk about drapes, drapes, or something or something else? I know it'd be better for her not to know. We'll be back. Do you gonna kill us? I like you to. When you See, walk I don't feel like you that walk away night and easy. Okay. Are they really that easy to get in here? The What's behind that door? None of your business. I know, right? Somehow, the body do terrifying. It's amazing how menacing these guys can like, look They got a the face bear like, they look silly, but then when you really look at the zoom out a little bit, you're like, okay. A little bit of terrifying, not gonna lie. But I feel like a buffer time to save it right here. Okay, I think it's like a buffer time, so yeah. Okay then, I guess next episode we will take down Silver. I hope not literally, and somehow get Baco to sell the Daddy Bear toy and find a sandwich. Hopefully not in that order, or in that order, whatever order I feel like doing it in. So yeah, 
If you guys have enjoyed this video even a little bit, please leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. And share this video with your friend or family. And I have no idea how to end this video, so goodbye everyone. Bye bye. Yeah, how that maybe I do this video with your friend and family, but it'll all work. Anyway, bye.